welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Tiff from Journal with Tiff and today I'm going to go over all the pens that I have been using in the month of April. First, let's go over my supplies. Uh, my ink journal I am using the Hobonichi Techo Day Free. It is housed in my Chic Sparrow. This is the Odyssey line. I do believe this has been discontinued. Um, I have, oh, before I go to my pens, um, I've already stamped my pages that I'm going to be swatching. And this stamp is from Yoseka Stationery. Love that little stamp. All right. My pens are housed in this lovely pen pouch. I absolutely adore it. Um, it has this so, oh, it's so soft velvet on the inside. It is customizable and it is from Hurlstone. I have all of my vials, my ink vials, in this handmade vial holder. Uh, this is from Fountain Pendulum. I have a jar of water for cleaning out my dip pen. This is from Stationary Universe. This is a River City uh, pen holder, nib holder, I'm sorry. And this is holding my Kakamori brass nib. <clears throat> I decided to switch to this one simply because I found the Kakamori nib holder, the wood nib holder. It was just really slick in my hands and I felt like sometimes I couldn't get a good grip on it. Uh, but this one, I love the grip section of this one. It just, it's so comfortable. It's just the perfect size. So absolutely adore this. And the only thing left is my cloth here to dry off my nib when I wash it out in the water. So let's get started. The first pen is actually a carryover from last month. This is my Twisby Diamond 580 in silver and it has an extra fine nib and it is inked with Robert Oster Rose Gold Antiqua. So let's go ahead and dip. Now, one thing about me is when I write, I'm not a fan of shimmer. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. I guess it just, my camera stopped recording and I did not realize it. I was steady talking and swatching and writing and reviewing um, let you know what I was using for the first two pins and it didn't get recorded. So I'm just going to do a very quick recap. It is inked with Robert Oster Rose Gold Antigua. And I did not shake it. All of the shimmer is still at the bottom simply because I don't really want shimmer in my pen when I write. I'm okay to make a splash of ink on a page for decorative purposes, but um, and then I will agitate the bottle. But other than that, I don't agitate the bottle for this one because I want to keep the, I want to ink from the top and keep the shimmer at the bottom. Next was my Estabrook uh, SD in the winter white. This is in an extra fine nib as well. And I have this one inked with Troublemaker, Troublemaker Kelp Tea. So I apologize, did not realize that the camera had stopped, but let's carry on. Next is a recent acquisition. I have not yet done an unboxing for this. I still will, it's soon to come, but here's, I guess, just a sneak peek of it. Um, this is my Montegrappa Venetia and this is in the uh, colorway conifer. It is a beautiful green. I just love this like cracked ice look on pens. Is that clear? That's a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I don't want to say too much about the pen because I still plan to do an unboxing. I also got this in an extra fine and it is inked with Robert Oster African Gold. It is a 
beautiful, like, I guess it's like a muddy golden brown. Very, very light muddy golden brown. Yeah. And as you can see, see how much darker it looks when it's on, on a finer nib? But it's just beautiful. All right. This is actually my first Monte Grappa. Yeah, this is my first Monte Grappa. And I got it at the Atlanta Pen Show. I was so excited when I found this, when I found this one. And this is in the conifer colorway. And this is inked with. Another Robert Ulster ink. And it's African gold. Beautiful. Next is my latest from Bone Crusher Studio, Bone Crusher 7 Studios. I always want to leave that out. Um, all of the models are the same, I believe. Um, it's called the Velma model, and this uh, colorway is called Triassic. I was just, I don't know, I was really taken aback when I saw this particular one, and I just thought it was so, it's like abstract, but kind of classy at the same time. So, yeah, and I have this inked with... Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour. Make sure I got enough of that. And I'll wipe off the excess so I can try not to have inky fingers. It was such a lovely match for that pen. I think I need some more. We're getting a little low. And I think that might have been my issue. I've been having issues with uh, my brass nib. And I'm thinking that my issue was because I couldn't hold the... Kakamori, uh, the Kakamori holder, well, that I will, maybe I think that my angle was the issue that I was having. It was, it was probably all me. All right. Bone Crusher 7 Studio in the Triassic. And this is inked with Ferris wheel press. Oyster hour. I mean, isn't that such a lovely match? Such a lovely match. I love it. Next is my Sailor Pro Gear. This is the white with pink gold. It's called pink gold on the site. I call it rose gold, and I have it inked with one of my all-time favorites. It's Sailor Kitsune Biori. This is such a lovely, lovely ink. It has different tones, and sometimes it looks top, sometimes it looks brown, sometimes it looks pink. It just all depends. Now, I will say that it's been a little dry for me. It always has been a little dry for me. Um, so I added just the slightest, slightest drop, what I thought was the slightest drop of white lightning. Uh, and just, just this is a medium fine nib. I didn't say that. Um, it is a medium fine. This is my only pro gear. And... Look at how thick. This is like turned to a broad. Look at that. At least it's not smearing. 
This is in the pink gold. So I'm thinking, you know, sailor ink, sailor pen. Um, but this has already changing from the color it was because it kind of has like a muddy brown look uh, when it first goes um, when I first put it on the page but then once it dries you'll see once it's a completely dry it's just this beautiful lavender mauve brown pink it's just I mean I don't know what to call it but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous color and I love it in this pen a little thick now <laughs> since my white lightning but it accomplished what I needed it to accomplish so there you go Next is my Twisby Eco, and this is in the Cream of Rose Gold, and I have it inked with another Robert Oster ink in khaki. And here's the funny story about this. Initially, I have another ink that's named khaki. It's Diatramentus khaki, and I adore it. I love it. So I thought it would be really nice in this pen. So here I go, I'm inking it up and I go to write with it. I'm like, this isn't the right, did I mix my inks? I wasn't sure. And so I'm like, okay, cause you're gonna see the Diatra, if you're familiar with uh, Khaki by Diatra Mentis, it is a light brown. It's a lovely, lovely light brown and this is not this is not a light brown at all this is a hundred percent green so I'm like uh okay what's going on did I mess my inks up what come to find out I go and look at it I'm like it's not diatramentous it's khaki but it's Robert Arster but it's fine I like it so I stuck with it all right this is Twisby Eco, and this is the cream, and this is in a fine nib, and it's inked with Robert Oster Khaki. And I must admit that so far, you know, the month's not done yet, but so far, I... It wasn't an intentional uh, color choice or ink choice, but I'm kind of digging it. So we'll get we'll dive into that more uh, at the end of the month when we recap the month. And lastly is my Pelican M800. This is in the brown black, and I took this with me to the Atlanta Pen Show and had a custom grind and. Um, Brought this forward to this month because I wanted to try out the new grind. This is uh, Needlepoint by Kurt Spear. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but you know, Pelicans are known for being super juicy, uh, super broad, but this is not. And definitely have to take care because it is a Needlepoint. And I have it inked with one of my favorites, which is... Pilot of Roshizuku Sakushi, one of my favorites, a gorgeous reddish brown. I mean, the fact that they got rid of this ink is just so, so sad, so sad. But I actually really, really like it in this pen. Oh. Oh, I love it. Pelican M800. And this is in the needle point. And it's the brown black. And what I was really surprised by was um, it, by the nib being so 
more so much more fine a finer nib it gave it so much more bounce that I was just so impressed and just adore it now I didn't know I could like this pen or love this pen more than I do but I do and now we are I'm all done and I believe they're all pretty much dry so just to do a recap I have my Twispy Diamond 580 and it is inked with Robert Oster Rose Gold Antiqua. Love this dusty pink color and if you do a swatch um, with the shimmer it's even more beautiful. Again, I'm just not the biggest fan of shimmer in my fine nibs when I'm writing. Next is my Estabrook Esty, and I know this is really close up, but I mean, you can see the pen, but I really want you to see the ink. Um, when this uh, ink, the Troublemaker Kelp Tea, when you first put it down, it's like, okay, it's just like this, it was almost like a bluish green to me when I first looked at it. Um, and you know that Tamoy River paper is gonna show all the characteristics, all the properties, right? And so now that it's dried, it's got these pink hues to it. So it's like a pink and green mix and it does shade. It's just really, really nice. Next is my Monte Grappa. And this is in the Venetia model in the conifer colorway and an extra fine. And it is inked with Robert Oster African Gold, a beautiful uh, gold toned brown I oh it just it's beautiful and I kind of figured you know that's a really nice color for spring um, by it being April it's not a deep dark brown but just really really nice uh, light toned brown next is the bone crusher 7 studio in Triassic and it is inked with the Ferris wheel press oyster hour beautiful match i know that oyster hour can tend to be a little dry most uh ferris wheel press inks are for me in my opinion but this is a beautiful shader and even though this is an extra fine nib um it still shades for me it's not what i would consider like a japanese extra fine so great pairing sailor pro gear white and pink gold and this is inked with the uh, Kitsune, Kitsune Biori. And as you can see, this has now turned to a lavender uh, top, pinky undertoned, pinky brown. I'm not exactly sure what to call this. But as you can see, it's just a lovely color. And again, this is a medium fine nib. But because I put a drop of white lightning in here, I think I might have put just a little bit too much. It got really thick on me, but I'm okay with it. At least it's, it's not bleeding um, on the paper, so I'm okay with that. Now it's my Twispy Eco in the cream and pink, uh, excuse me, rose gold. And it is inked with Robert Oster Khaki. And again, I <laughs> did not plan on this color. But this is a lovely olive green. Um, it looks a little dark on camera. It's a little bit lighter. Um, more towards this end of the swatch over here. This looks a little dark to me. But in real light, it's not a dark green. It's like just a really, almost like it's perfectly toned olive. I honestly, I guess, you know, there are khakis that you can have green khaki. So I can see that. But that's what this is inked with. And finally, the Pelican M800 in brown black um, with a custom needle point grind. And it is inked with Pilot Orochizuku Sakushi. I just felt like um, I actually did try another ink uh, in this pen initially, but the ink was a little dry. And with the nib being so fine, it just was, it just came across as like super duper scratchy. So I'm like, okay, let's get an ink that I feel like would fit more. And hence I went for my trusty uh, Sakushi and so far, so good. And that is all of my inks for the month. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I apologize for the first two. Um, I don't know what happened, but I'll make it up to you soon because I've got a lot of good content coming for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this. And since this is the middle of April, the review should be coming soon within the next couple of weeks uh, to let you know how these ink and pen pairings fared for the month. So please don't forget to like, consider subscribing, and leave any comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.